what's the best starter fancy pen? <laughs> starter fancy pen. So this one is very much open to interpretation for me. It depends what you consider fancy, I guess. Um, personally, I don't really, I, I'm gonna say, don't really worry too much about the fanciness of your pen um, when you're first starting out. And I don't say that because I don't think fancy pens are cool or exciting. I say that because pretty much when you're first starting out, every fountain pen seems fancy. I'm not joking. Like I break out a Pilot Metropolitan, plain black, nothing super crazy going on, or a Pilot Varsity, preppy, anything like that. And people see that nib and they start writing with it and immediately that pen is fancy. Like it doesn't have to have a lot of embellishments on it and crazy acrylics and translucents and power of double vac fillers and all this kind of stuff. That stuff is like, can't even, doesn't even compute with most people. But <laughs> most people just starting out just a fountain pen that works is fancy, right? So that's why I say like, don't get too obsessed with the fancy thing right off the bat. I think literally any fountain pen that writes half decent is gonna be fancy looking, feeling uh, more than most people have used of any pen. Um, for more, slightly more seasoned pen folks, so say it's not like you're just being handed a fountain pen for the first time and you're like, what is this thing? You know, but you're like, you, okay, you've got a pen, you're kind of bought and sold on the concept. You wanna get into it a little bit, but you're newer to the hobby. Okay, that's, that's kind of where I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of assume your question is coming from because you're submitting a question, you're obviously enough in it to be involved here, right? So um, I would say, um, you know, I'm gonna consider for slightly more seed and pen folk uh, to consider fancy meaning more, slightly more of the aesthetics of the pen than just the fountain penness of it. Uh, just the fact that it is a fountain pen, but a little bit more to the aesthetics, some visual appeal, some slightly larger size maybe, or something cool in the design. Um, so I got a few pens that just kind of came top of mind to me. Um, the Conklin Duragraph and the All-American, both sub $100 pens. Duragraph is nice in there in the, like that $50 range. Um, you know, you, you're getting cast resin materials here instead of injection molded plastics. So you get a lot of depth of material, kind of a classic vintage design that just doesn't look like most other pens that are out today, um, like something you would find, you know, on, the, on your office supply shelf. Um, slightly larger pens, some vibrant colors. I think they're uh, worth a look. Uh, the Lamy Lux, really any of the Lamy's Fari All Stars, but definitely the Lux um, lends itself more to kind of that fanciness. It's got very much that like Apple iPhone kind of clean look to it. Um, Twisby, really any of them, but the Vac 700R or the 580 have a little kind of a polished look, the faceted design, some cool components that you can see how they operate. I think the fancy factor goes up quite a bit with those. Uh, the Monteverdi Invincia, you get some carbon fiber in there, some different trim materials and stuff. Cool looking pens, I would say they qualify. Um, the Pilot Vanishing Point, basically any of them, but if you wanna go nuts, the Rod and Galaxy. <laughs> Probably out of starter range here, but uh, really the Vanishing Point, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe a little bit outside the most of starter, starter pen range, but it's not crazy for everybody, so it's, it's worth a mention, because it is kind of an intro um, gold nib pen range. Uh, really any of the Edison pens, I think any of them would fit in there. Again, it's a bit more of an investment. You're in that vanishing point price range into the 150 to 180 range there. Um, but really any, anything Edison kind of fits in there. You get into some of the same appeal that the Conklin Duragraph and All-American have, those cast mirrors and materials. Um, this one's American made, the Edison. Um, you get some cool different designs and, and lots of fun materials. Um, the Visconti Rembrandt or the Van Gogh, neat materials themed after the paintings from Van, from, uh, Van Gogh and Rembrandt. Uh, so I definitely think those go in there Italian made so you get some cool embellishments there. Um, and then, you know, I threw the Lamy 2000 in here. I know it gets a little pricey as well as some of these and, and I'm, and I'm kind of worked my way up in the price range as I've gone along here, as you can tell. <laughs> Um, I'm like aging you up in the in the fountain pen experience as we go along in the question. Uh, but the Lamy 2000, it's a different kind of fancy. You know, it's more of that Bauhaus, that industrial kind of clean look uh, that some people, I would say it's more of that fancy minimalist kind of thing, which maybe that is uh, just a, a, a paradox in and of itself, but you know, what the heck, I'm gonna go with that. So that's what I would say is, is uh, Lamy 2000 to finish you off for that question. Mm -hmm.